Neeraj, uh, that was a fascinating um, uh, experience, you know, visiting your laboratories, visiting your facilities, understanding the business. I was just telling you and telling your colleagues here as well that uh, about 25, 26 years ago, I used to work in similar labs because I'm a student of biotechnology. I did my master's in biotech. I specialized in animal tissue culture. So I do understand a bit of what you said when Ritika was explaining about in vivo, in vitro. I said, I thought that this name was heard before. So, I also see some of the hoods, some of the equipment, so then they remember the old days when we were in Pune. It was good today, that it was a very good idea, you know, state-of-the-art facility. Compliments to you on that. What delighted my heart was, Neeraj, um, you know, the fact that you said, uh, before I could ask, before I could ask, you know, you said, uh, the first question I asked Rajiv, but uh, <laughs> the first question I asked Rajiv when I joined uh, Eurofins was, how come we don't have a facility in Hyderabad? Because I think that's the question that everybody should be asking themselves. You know, we are, uh, you know, a state, we are a city that truly, uh, you know, is uh, the symbol of the might of life sciences ecosystem of this great country to the rest of the world, without a question, because I'll back it up with numbers. You know, we produce, you know, the place where we are all seated, Genome Valley. This is Asia's largest life sciences cluster, Asia's largest biotech cluster. This is the place where we produce one third of human vaccines, global vaccine production. 33% of global vaccine production happens from where we are. So therefore, we are by default the vaccine hub of the world, without a question. Almost 9 billion doses, 900 crore doses of vaccines are produced from Hyderabad, from Telangana, from India. And if you also combine what is being produced by serum in uh, Pune, I think it's more than 50% of global vaccine production. Not only vaccine, but we also are the leader for pharmaceutical production and bulk drugs and chemical production in India. 40% of uh, India's pharmaceuticals are produced from Hyderabad and Telangana. And more importantly, not just for India but also for the rest of the world. In fact, this has become a huge base for a um, you know, number of uh, large pharmaceutical companies to manufacture and actually export uh, to the rest of the world as well. We have the largest number of US FDA approved manufacturing facilities for any state in the world, not India. So our competition is not with Bangalore, I can tell you that much. <laughs> and we are not competing with them at all. We have 214 US FDA approved manufacturing facilities. New Jersey is the second largest state in the world with 189. So we are competing with the who's who, the who's who of the world, not with Karnataka, Maharashtra, not, not at all with Gujarat. Uh, <laughs> Gujarat ko bhi dekh lenge wakta ne pe. <laughs> no, but I'm very, very delighted to be here because you know your uh, statement when you said Neeraj that um, Right now, it's about 100,000 square foot of facility, and you said you've invested about uh, 1,000 crores of rupees. But you also said this will become the largest facility for Eurofins in India. I think that deserves a big round of applause. <laughs> he said this will scale up. This will scale up to about a million square foot facility, which is almost 10x of what it is today. You have enough of uh, land available at your disposal, and I promise you, but our government will ensure that all speedy approvals, all necessary things that need to be in place to make these things happen, we'll make it happen. So, Jebbi Rajiv, you check it out, then we'll do the rest of your work. You're thinking about it. Also, you said that Eurofins is also into testing of um, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, of course. And also, you said food and food-related uh, products as well. My humble request to you, Neeraj, is that... Um, you know, as a, as a minister who's been in the government for nine years and as a citizen as well, as an Indian, you know, who's been witnessing the changing trends in the consumption patterns, especially when it comes to food, uh, I'm worried as a father, as a parent, as an as a, as a, as a Indian, because, you know, uh, more and more processed food is being consumed, more and more, um, you know, ready-made food is being consumed, you know, quick food is being consumed, which is both good and bad, because uh, good because, you know, it uh, serves the purpose, keeps you happy so that, you know, we don't have to worry about cooking at home. You know, we see the proliferance of, uh, proliferation of Zomatos and Swiggies and you know, cloud kitchens and what all things that we never thought we'll hear about in life. We were all hearing it in our own lifetimes. But the challenge here is to keep up with the quality, to keep up, uh, you know, with the kind of consumption that needs to happen. Because 
you know while we want our children uh, you know to be well aware cognizant we also want them to be healthy eventually i think if you if you look at a few of the things that i have read in newspapers i have not re- i have no, i've stopped reading scientific journals a long time back so i cannot quote from science but i can quote from um, all the information that is uh, is there a fire alarm or should we wake it what do you mean no it's a fire alarm i think we should go speaker na okay and this is a closed auditorium so good luck guys <laughs> all i'm saying is uh, all i'm saying is see i'm worried because we need to also figure out a strategy on how our children because you know what i've read i could be wrong subject to correction because uh, and with all due respect to all the food companies out there who've been investing in telangana also i have read that about 50 to 60% of all the ailments that you know cause problems today are actually coming through the intake that you know we all uh, you know have on a daily basis so one of the things i am concerned about particularly is about you know different kinds of food different kinds of chemicals that are being used the different kinds of uh, you know soil studies that are put out and the different kinds of you know food adulteration that is happening as well so if i may make a request to you i am also the minister for municipal administration and i can tell you neither does my health department nor do i have uh, enough people you know testing the co- quality of food in the city of hyderabad or in the city in other cities and other towns across the state as well because this proliferation like i said of restaurants cloud kitchens we don't have the kind of uh, capacity to test each and every grain of food or each and every restaurant on a day to day basis of course we hope that the fnb industry which is largely relevant on word of mouth kind of a publicity you know self regulates and uh, you know restrains from doing anything which is untoward of course because they rely on uh, customer feedback they rely on word of mouth like i said so normally they self regulate but i think together maybe there can be a model which you have done elsewhere in the world where we can start sampling you know the different kinds of food available and you know maybe uh, whether it's healthy or unhealthy whether it's good or bad you know that sort of thing can also be piloted in telangana we can we can be the guinea pig for that i'd love to see how we could do that as well i'm of course thrilled that uh, eurofins has uh, made an entry into hyderabad with this investment uh, you'll join the illustrious list of uh, companies that are thriving in this cluster and um, i've had um, in fact the pleasure of uh, meeting with dr tomas uh, bednar bednar sik how do you how do you pronounce the last name your own md of uh, uh, you know eurofins in uh, january sorry okay last name mushkil hai isliye tomas bolta hu theek hai to hum bhi tomas bolenge chalo tomas i had met him in january at uh, the world economic forum where uh, in fact uh, natalia shuman was there who is also the president of biopharma services of your company now this was in january this year and today i'm delighted to be inaugurating this facility because you know that was a quick quick turnaround less than 8 months i'm really really happy and congratulations to neeraj and the entire team which executed this project in a very short span of time